let's look at how to create a data grid view. So first of all, I'm going to create a new project. And this new project is going to be a Windows Form app. The Windows Form app is going to be my data grid view app. In this app that's just created, um, you have this data sources thing on the side. And if you don't have it, you can press Shift, Alt, and D to bring it up. So I want to add a new source. And it's going to be a database source and a data set. And I'm going to do a new connection. So I can either do a file or I can change this. And I'm going to connect to a database directly. I have a SQL, Microsoft SQL Express database. So I'm going to connect to that. Now, because I am on my local machine, I can type in local host and type in SQL Express to connect to that server. I can then use this drop down to find which database I want to connect to. So I'm going to connect to the things database. So I'll go ahead and click next. And then it has this connection string. And I can see what I want to grab from it. So I'm going to click the entire table. I can look at it and expand it and see what I get. But I'm going to go ahead and grab all of it. At this point, I can then take things from this things database and drag them onto my form right here. So I go back to the database, the data source. I can decide, well, I'm going to bring over foods. So foods has different pieces in it. I can change how some of these things or how it comes across. So right now it is going to be coming across as a data grid view. And when I drag it, the entire table over, it creates this data grid view. So I can then drag it out, make it a little bigger. And you want to make sure it kind of matches the size of the data in there. And then I can go ahead and click run or start. And I can immediately see the data displayed here. So I got apple, 10 apples, 20 grapes, and five mangoes. If I want to modify the data, I can just go in here and change it directly. So change 15, tab out of it, and then press the save button and save it. Then the next time I go back in there, apples will be 15. So go ahead and stop it, start it back up again, pulls from the database again, and you can see the apple is 15. And I can go down each thing. If I want to add something new to the list, so maybe I want to add banana, and I want to put this as 10. And I can save that, and it'll save it to the database and update this number up here, which is the number of rows in the database. So you can go through and use that directly. And this is how you do a data grid view. You can also go ahead and modify the size of things and you can even make it so your data grid view is read only if you want. But this gets you started on how to work with data grid views.